Okay, hello and welcome everyone. So in this video, I'm gonna do an example with a perfect competition situation and using calculus, or at least a little bit of calculus. Okay, so suppose in the short run, our cost function for some competitive firm is given by C of Q is equal to Q squared plus 25Q plus 144. The first thing you see is like, that is a quadratic cost function, which tells us marginal cost and average variable costs are gonna be linear. Right, so the three things I'm asking us for is at a price of 75, how much output's optimally produced? What price corresponds to zero economic profits? Below what price does the firm shut down? All right, so the first thing, at a price of 75, how much output's optimally produced? Well, here's our cost function. So at the price of 75, what's our output? The firm is gonna produce where marginal cost is equal to price. A lot of people would say, oh, the firm's gonna produce where price is equal to marginal cost. They're gonna set price equal to marginal cost. No, it's a competitive it controls its marginal cost. So the firm's gonna bring its marginal cost by adjusting its output equal to price. All right, so let's find marginal cost. So we'll take the derivative with respect to quantity. So I'll have two Q plus 25 is marginal cost. Set that equal to 75 and solve, we'll find output is gonna be 25. You're not necessarily done here because we know that this would be our candidate output. We have to decide, is our firm actually gonna to wanna to produce or would they rather shut down and produce zero? So we have to know, is price larger than average variable cost? But not just any average variable cost. It has to be the average variable cost associated with producing 25 units. So this is going to be price is bigger than average variable cost evaluated at the optimal quantity. Average variable cost, here's the variable portion of our total cost function. Divided by Q makes it average variable cost. So we'll have Q plus 25 as average variable cost. All right, evaluated at a quantity of 25 is 50. Is price bigger? Sure. 75 is bigger than average variable cost at producing 25 units. So the firm is indeed going to optimally produce 25 units. Okay, next thing. What corresponds to zero economic profits? There's two ways to do this. Actually, sorry, I went over this too fast. So when we're trying to find how much output's optimally produced, we have to do two things. You have to find the output where marginal cost equals price, and you have to verify that it would rather produce that than shut down. So we actually, both of these steps, both step one and both step two, are necessary to know that we found the profit maximizing output because the profit maximizing output could very well be zero. If, and that would be the case if the price was 49, right? Um, okay, so what price corresponds to zero economic profits? All right, so the price corresponding to zero economic profits, this occurs where marginal cost equals price at a minimum of average total cost. So there's two approaches. One thing we could do is minimize average total cost. The other thing we could do is we could, uh, is we could exploit the fact that we know that marginal cost is gonna cross average cost from below at its minimum, at the minimum of average cost. Same thing for average total cost. Okay, so average total cost is gonna be total cost divided by Q, right? So let's minimize that. Here's this, just writing this differently. So this is gonna be Q plus 25 plus 144 times one over Q. The first order condition is gonna be, so the derivative with respect to quantity, so one plus zero plus uh, or minus 144 times one over Q squared, right? So this is take a, to take the derivative, this is gonna be minus one times 44, reduce this power by one, okay? And then solving, we'll have one is equal to 144 over Q squared or Q squared is equal to 144. So a quantity of 12. The other way we could do is we could solve for where marginal cost crosses average total cost. Okay, so average total cost uh, crosses, uh, where marginal cost crosses average total cost. So marginal cost is gonna be 2Q plus 25. Average total or average variable or average total cost was Q plus 25 plus 144 times Q minus one is equal to average total cost. Solving again, we find a quantity of 12 and then we find a price of 49. Why is the price of 49? Well, we wanna find what's marginal cost gonna be equal to when I'm producing 12 units. So two times 12 plus 25 is equal to price of 49. Oh, and if you've been, if you're paying really close attention, back up here, I was like, ah, oh, well, you'd shut down if price was lower than 50, such as a price of 49. And now you're like, wait a second, here's a price of 49. What's going on? They're not shutting down. This is zero economic profit. Well, that's different, right? So this is a price of 49 at a quantity of 12. What I was saying here is we would shut down if the price associated with producing the 
uh, the if the price associated with producing the 25 units was uh, was 49 here uh, the the price the and it's not the point corresponding to where average variable cost or where uh, uh, average total cost is minimized is the quantity of 12. Okay, so below what price does the firm actually shut down? So where is our shutdown price? Where is the firm going to want to shut down? So what this is asking for is this is like all things considered, what's the lowest price that this firm is going to operate at? So the, the lowest price that the firm is going to operate at, well, I can actually get that from staring at this because we know this is a quadratic uh, cost function, but we'll actually do the problem. So same two approaches but this time with average variable cost. So one thing we can do is minimize average variable cost. So average variable cost is Q plus 25. You should have the answer already, shouldn't you? Q plus 25, uh, if you take the derivative, right, so this part goes to zero, this is just one. Okay, that looks funny. Maybe the better way, other than staring at this, is let's set marginal cost equal to average variable cost. And so marginal cost is two Q plus 25. Average variable cost is Q plus 25. Solving, we get a quantity of zero. Okay, so if you so don't you know don't feel bad if you didn't catch what I was alluding to before. Uh, what's going on here? This is kind of weird. Well, what's happening is both marginal cost and average variable cost are emanating from the point zero twenty five. So what's happening since they're both starting at the same vertical intercept, marginal cost is going to be everywhere higher than average variable cost over all positive quantities. Now we know that anyway, like marginal cost is going to be above average variable cost and for linear marginal cost and for linear average variable cost, marginal cost is everywhere going to be above average variable cost. So what ends up happening, this firm is going to operate in the short run at any price higher than 25. 25 is going to be our shutdown price. Below, for, for a price below 25, we will fail to be covering our, average, our, our variable costs. Right. Okay, very good. I uh, hope... Hope you enjoy the video. Hope you good. Uh, good night.